everybody. It's great to see you all here. And I, I think it would be appropriate that this is the first time that uh, Peter Biggs hasn't chaired this meeting as chair of the, uh, the trustees. And this is the 33rd one, and he's done all the other 32. So if you just give Peter, a, in his absence, a round of applause and thank you for doing that over so many, over so many years. I'm sure Peter would be honoured to be here and to hear Michael Hess talk, of course, being a veterinary surgeon, of course, and uh, Michael does know uh, Peter Briggs quite well as well. I'm unfortunately I'm part of the youth policy of the trustees, but I did a lot just before I enter retirement. Um, I didn't know the person whom this uh, lecture series is named after, Gordon, Robert Fraser Gordon. But you'll see something about him in the brochure. And I suppose that's another indication of time moving on as the generations replace each other. And it's good to remember people from the past and what they did. Um, I'm not sure that anyone will remember me in 10 years, 20 years' time, but I'm sure Michael Hess will be remembered for his uh, pioneering work in kind of avian pathology, particularly. There are a lot of avian pathologists, and we're very grateful, Michael, for you being here tonight. And thank you and welcome to us. Um, you'll see, read about Michael in the, in the brochure again. He um, started off in agriculture before the light and became a vet, uh, completing his degree in 1990 at the Free University of Berlin, where he worked for another 10 years, I think it was, um, on adeno-associated adeno -associated viruses in poultry. So a specialist in poultry research. And then he spent 18 months in Cambridge near Houghton, working for InterVet, before being headhunted as professor of poultry medicine back at the University of Vienna, which is a standalone veterinary university, the second oldest in the world, I guess, 250 years ago, when it was the war machine and looking after horses in the Austro-Hungarian Empire. And Michael established the Department for Farm Animals of Veterinary Public Medicine, which uh, he heads up uh, since 2008. Um, his research interests are in avian pathology, virology, and parasitology, and particularly strong on experimental models reflecting natural infections in poultry. So he's a very applied researcher, and that's great to have him here today to talk about commensal pathogen, a challenge to the Phil Cox postulate. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, thanks a lot. Uh